Hey guys, I'm Alex from thetechnoclass.com and we're currently on vacation so you'll notice a completely newish new unboxing area right here. So this is the Nokia N9 and uh, it's going to be the only phone that's going to come out with uh, Nokia's uh, and Intel's, I believe it's Intel's, um, Migo OS and we're unboxing it right now. There you go, just the usual slidey Nokia box and uh, this is the phone right here so let's turn it on and you'll notice that it's very it's a nice um, glassy surface on top which is trademark of the current Nokia build so this is a cyan colored um, silicone case that fits pretty well on the phone we'll show you that later alright what else we got a quick guide and product and safety information so they're blue and white and okay okay this this tells you about how to use the gestures and stuff like that all right moving on we have a USB cable mini US micro USB to USB cable in a in a nice shape right um, so up top here, I believe this is a one-piece headset, and I want to see this shape because uh, the Nokia ones have a unique, interesting shape that, see, there you go. That's kind of cool. Um, I wonder if the buds are foam or rubber, or they don't have any buds. Anyway, headphones, headset. All right. So what's in the bottom here is, well, it's sort of like the thing the kids play with, the shapes thing, but it's actually a USB charger. This looks like the European version with the three prongs, but uh, if you buy one from the Philippines, I bet you'll probably get something more similar to our plugs here in the Philippines. But that's about it for the box. Uh, it gives you a nice, um, what does it say, tweet tweet recycle thingamajig. All right, on to the phone. So alright, this is the Nokia N9, and you can see from, from the reflections that it's got a nice glossy uh, screen, and the, the AMOLED display is re really shines in here because of the clear blacks. But uh, we'll get to that later. We'll talk about the parts for the meantime. Alright, so this is the N9 itself, and it looks really nice, and the AMOLED underneath it looks uh, really nice as well because it's sort of that clear black effect but uh, we will talk about that later this is the 3.9 inch yeah that's 3.9 inch slightly bigger than the usual 3.9 inch 854 by 480 display so that's kind of different than the usual 854 by 480 display uh, there's a Nokia logo in f up top here and I believe those are some sensors up over there uh, you can see that from the sunlight thing uh, it's hard to focus because it's kind of dark on the bottom you'll see a weird placed weirdly placed um, front-facing camera now the software might not support this just yet um, but there are a couple of apps that can use it for mirror uh, for for checking your yourself out through the mirror and stuff like that so the front is pretty nice looking you can see a uh, speaker grill up here and uh, similar to the N, uh, the Lumia 800 I don't see a a microphone here so it might be uh, placed here where uh, there's also a speaker grill so that's it for the bottom up top we also have the similar looking um, thing from Lumi 800 this is a 3.5 millimeter headset jack the tilty with the weird poppy uppy micro USB port and the weird sliding micro micro sim port so there is no um, micro SD slot here nor is there a removable battery so those are some things to note and of course the most important thing here is you need a micro sim alright that's it for the top over the left there is nothing over the right you have a power and unlock key and a volume rocker alright so this thing pretty much looks just about the same as the Lumia 800 
Though I think it did have a single LED flash. Now this, uh, the, Loom, the Nokia N9 has a dual LED flash, uh, an 8 megapixel camera, autofocus, and the shiny thingamajig here that says Carl Zeiss Tessar. Um, some weird name there. Alright, so as you can see, this is a single, single built, single block of polycarbonate. So basically that's plastic, but it's sort of the high class, tough plastic. Um, it would have been nice to be for it to be metal, but the the single block looks nice, though you, though the edges make it so that you can still stand it up. Um, it's a nice design, most mostly glass in front, and weird on the back. So we're gonna put on the silicone case because I think it sort of makes it look a little better. All right, here it is with the casing installed, and it's a nice snug fit. And uh, it's it kind of makes the phone look a little better. Um, I, I'm not sure if it's because it's cyan colored, or bluish colored, but uh, it makes the phone look a little bit more striking than than the completely black one. All right, so as you can see, the scratch the thing that might be scratched is protected by the silicone here, and you can still get pictures and stuff like that. Uh, you can still get it charged because there's a port here for your charging and you're also your 3.5 millimeter headset jack. And the really cool part about this case is that as you can see here there's a nice cutout for the buttons and they look really nice um, recessed into the case and uh, you wouldn't accidentally press this if it were inside your pockets. So I think the case is a nice addition. So this is running on um, Mego which is a Linux based OS which is also based from something called MAMO from before that when we reviewed the Nokia N900 and um, this is a lot different than MAMO so we're gonna have to um, show a bit more about this product so this is running on MIGO 1.2 Harmaton PR 1.1 so there's supposedly a PR 1.2 coming out but uh, we haven't tr seen it yet so we're gonna stick with PR 1.1 for now so how this works is that this is pretty much your home screen, your main screen. This is a, basically a main menu and it's top down. I mean, scrolls up and down. And this lists all your apps and stuff like that. You can sort of rearrange it and you can sort of, um, you can sort of uninstall stuff from here. I'm not sure if, I'm not sure if you can create folders, but we'll see, we'll find out later. I'm sorry, I just launched an app there. Uh, if you swipe to the right from the edge of the screen like so, uh, you'll get to this part which is the multitasking menu. And if you swipe one more, you'll get to a feeds menu or a notifications menu which uh, serves you all your feeds, your emails, your messages and stuff like that. So how this works is that, well, there is no um, home screen or like a widget screen or pretty much a shortcut area like we would see from an Android phone or other devices and um, you, all, all, you only get these three screens the main menu, the multitask menu and the feeds menu so um, there are a couple of gestures that you need to understand here because this phone that has no buttons on front if you notice if you wanna for example if I go to music alright so if I wanna um, switch out of this app I just swipe from outside the screen like so and you'll get back to where you were before on the home screen and if you swipe one more you'll see the music app is on the multitask menu now so for example I launch the camera app and it'll launch like that and I can take a picture like so and if I want to change out of that I just sw swipe from outside the screen and you can see that into the multitask menu as well now you can um, go back to that app by just tapping on the, on the multitask menu. Um, you can close that app by swiping downwards. It should close, there you go. Or you can hold it on, from the multitask menu and close it like so. Um, it's sort of a different style of OS and um, we're curious to see if it works well. It's, um, it's a little disorienting when you, when you don't have a shortcut area. But hopefully it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't, it's not that bad. Um, you can sort of favorite a, fun, a bunch of your contacts 
uh, which will make them show up on on the front uh, uh, on the top of the contacts list. But that's about it. You can't uh, add a shortcut of your contacts uh, on the main app app uh, list here. Um, you can, however, pin bookmarks from your websites from web pages. Though the web browser does not have uh, its own bookmark thing. All right, so the N9 has a couple of pre-installed apps here, though some of these we already installed after we opened it up. So we, the pre-installed ones are Angry Birds, um, Galaxy on Fire, Need for Speed, oops, I clicked on that, Real Golf, and a bunch of these other ones. So the Mego OS has a slightly shorter amount of um, apps available, though if you scroll far enough here, you'll see that the Technoclast is one of the top apps in the Mego marketplace, which is why number one. I'm kidding. All right, so um, yeah, Mego OS. Um, it's it's snappy enough. Uh, it's got a one gigahertz processor, and this version we got is, I believe, has 16 gigs of memory, and can record 720p 30 frames per second. Um, yeah, that's about it. So 854 by 480, 3.9 inch. Gorilla Glass AMOLED screen, which makes it pretty, and um, I like I like the case. But yeah, um, the Mego OS is slightly different, slightly unusual. Time will tell if the interface um, is actually pretty good. I mean, it's a different way of doing things, and um, the uh, the unique buttonless interface requires a little bit of um, memorization when it comes to gestures. Um, so you wouldn't necessarily know that swiping left right gets out of the app and this one sw swiping from up from the top closes it and there's also one here where you can stop in the middle and get a couple of shortcuts now th those aren't explained explicitly and sometimes those might require a little bit of learning curve but anyway um, three main screens the main menu the multitask menu and the feeds the notifications menu um, you can also tap the top here to show you um, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, stuff like that, volume. So, yeah, that's about it for the OS. Um, it's only totally unique. Keep in mind that this is a micro SIM phone. So if you're gonna buy one, you're gonna either gonna have to cut up your mic, your regular SIM, or buy a new micro SIM to fit the device. But that's about it. This is the Nokia N9. I'm Alex from the Technoclass.com. Thanks for watching.